Today, I thought I'd show you how... Today, I thought I'd... Today... Today, I thought I'd show you how to synchronize your video sound using Sony Vegas, not a baking tray. Ninja. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. You know, one of the easiest and cheapest ways to hugely increase the production values in your video making is to record the sound separately. No matter how good the rest of the video might be, nothing screams, this is rubbish, louder than poor quality sound. And if the audience can't understand what's being said, they won't stick around. So, let's say that you've decided to up your game a bit and you've videoed an interview and recorded the sound separately either on a dedicated recorder like a Zoom H1, or even just using an app on your mobile phone. So, now you've got your video, and you've also got a WAV or an MP3 file of the sound. The big problem now is, how do you sync that up perfectly so that the voice matches the mouth movements? Well, if you've also recorded the sound in the camera as well, then that's not going to be such a big problem because you can use the camera recording as what is known as a scratch track, which will be of help synchronizing the sound. But what if you didn't record the sound in the camera? Or what if the camera audio malfunctions and you lose all the sound? How are you going to synchronize it then? Well, the answer to that little conundrum is already in your hands. Well, actually it is your hands. All you have to remember is this. Whenever you record sound separately, just clap at the beginning of the recording. No, really. Make sure that both the camera and the recorder are running and then clap clearly in front of the camera like this. Now this performs exactly the same function as clapping a clapperboard. It leaves a visual image of the clap on the video and it leaves a distinctive spike on the audio waveform which can be used in the edits to match them both together. Yeah, and this is how you do it. Okay, so I've opened up Sony Vegas Pro. This particular one is version 13. And I've dragged in my video clip with the camera's own scratch track on. And I've also dragged in the new WAV sound file I recorded on my Zoom H1. Now the first thing I'm going to do is drag the sound file into the first available space beneath the original sound file, which is here. And to make it a bit easier for myself, I'm going to drag the track next to the original like this. That's better. Now, let's listen to this random match just to see what it sounds like. So that was, so the, that clap. was the clap, and this, and this is, the is the sound that I want to synchronise. Yes. As you can hear, there is a distinct echo effect, which will always happen when your recording and scratch track are not perfectly synchronised. To synchronise the tracks, find the audio spike that was created by the clap on the scratch track and place the cursor line there to hold it. Now bring the spike on the audio file along to match it. To get a more accurate match, use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in on the timeline and see it in greater detail like this. We can now see a double spike effect on the scratch track, and that was probably caused by a slight echo, which is not on the audio file due to the lapel mic being closer to the source of sound, and it is just one of the examples of why it produces better quality sound. Now, not wanting to sync with the echo, we're going to match it with the first instance of the sound, like this. So let's just play it to check the sync. It was the clap, and this is the sound that I want to synchronize. Perfect. No noticeable echo at all. We are synced. And now to replace the scratch track with the audio recording. You will notice that when the video clip is moved, the original track moves with it. This is because they're linked together in a group. What we need to do now is form a new group which consists of the video and the audio file. So I'll just undo the last move and put everything back in sync again. There. Now to create a new group, we just need to select the tracks we want grouping. So click on the video track like this, then holding down the control key, click on the audio track, and you will see that both are now selected. 
Now just right click on either of the tracks, select Group, then Create New, and hey presto, you have created a new group. You can now right click and delete the scratch track. Just drag up this track, trim the ends, and there is your new synchronised soundtrack. So that was the clap, and this is the sound that I want to synchronise. The clap really comes into its own when you need to synchronise your audio to a silent video clip, one that has no scratch track. In this example, we have the video, with no soundtrack at all, and the audio recording we want to synchronise. First, identify the distinctive clap spike on the audio. Then using the video play and shuttle buttons to click through or back one frame at a time, identify the moment when the clapping hands make full contact. Which I would say was there. Then drag the spike along so that it lies directly on the cursor line. Again, using the mouse wheel to zoom for greater accuracy. A quick test play shows us that the tracks are now perfectly synchronised. So that was the clap. And now it only remains to group and trim the clips as we did in the first example, and this is what we get. So that was the clap. And this is the sound that I want to synchronise. So, there you go. No excuse now not to have perfect synchro on your videos. Hope it helps. Well, that's all from me for this episode, but I will see you next time, oh yeah, on the Media Channel. Yeah.